Hi, boys and girls. Today, we are going to be learning about number grids. Now, to start off with, we're going to review a hundreds chart. On your screen, you'll see the, the hundreds chart starting at the number one, counting by ones, and going all the way down to 100. Now, on a hundreds chart, we have some rules that you have to follow. So, for example, if I were to say, find the number 28, you would go through, here's my 20s and 28. Now, if I then asked you to add 10 to that number, what would I do? All you have to do, instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all you have to do is move down 1, and that automatically adds 10 to your number. Now, what do you have to do if I say take 10 away? Show me a number that's 10 less than 28. What would you do? Instead of counting backwards by ones, you can just go up one box. So if our number is 28, 10 more would be 38. If our number is 28, 10 less would be 18. Now, the other rule we have is counting by is adding one and taking one away. I want to start with the number 44. So I'm going to go find the number 44. If I want to add one to this number, I move to the right one for 45. If I want to take one away, I go to the left and my number is 43. Knowing these rules is going to help us with our number grid today. Now, number grids are almost like puzzle pieces that you take little chunks of our hundreds chart out, and you have to fill in the missing numbers. We're going to start with a small number today. This number piece, number grid piece, has the number three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the number three on my hundreds chart, and I am going to put a box around it. Now, this three should line up with this one right here. So, what number is to the left of the number three? You got it, the number two. So, on my number grid, I'm going to write in the number two. Now, it looks like I need another piece. I need one more to the left. What number is next to the number two on the left? The number one. So, I will put a number one on my number grid. Now, it looks like we're moving down. Does that mean I'm adding or subtracting? Am I adding more or taking away some? I'll be adding some. And what am I going to be counting by? I'll be counting by tens. So if I go down one, that's adding a 10. So it turns my 1 into an 11. And then I need to go down one more. Turns my 11 into a 21. Now let's look at my number grid piece. When you go to the right, am I going up, getting bigger numbers, or am I going down, getting smaller numbers? One, two, three. I'm going up. What about going from 1 to 11 to 21? What is happening to my numbers? I'm adding 10 each time. 1 plus 10 is 11. 11 plus 10 is 21. Let's do one more number puzzle. Might do two. We'll try this one first, though. So our number puzzle has the number 85. So I'm going to use my hundreds chart, and I'm going to find the number 85. Here's the number 85 right here. Now, this one might be kind of tricky, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to make it a little bit of a different puzzle piece. It's going to look like this. It looks kind of, there we go. So, we have the number 85. Where do I have to go on my hundreds chart to fill in the rest of my chart? Am I going to go up to smaller numbers or down to bigger numbers? I'm going to be moving down. So, starting at 85, I need to look right under it. Now, some of you might not even need to use your hundreds chart because what's the rule if you go down on a hundreds chart? You're adding 10. So on my hundreds chart, I'm going to go down and my number turns into 95 underneath. 
Now, might not need the hundreds chart. What number is to the right of 95? Plus 1, so it'll be 96. What number is to the left of 95? Minus 1, 94. We will try one more problem, okay? It is just a little box with four squares in it. What number am I going to? I'll be going to 68. Now remember, you don't have to use a hundreds chart, but all you're doing is these little pieces are coming off directly from it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this piece right on my puzzle. That's what's missing. So we need to fill it in. What number comes before 68? 67. What number would be above 68? That means we're taking a 10 away. 58. And what number would be above 67? 57. So remember, these are our number grids, and they're almost like puzzle pieces just being taken right off our hundreds chart. You're filling them in. When you are going down on the hundreds chart, you're adding 10. When you're going up on the hundreds chart, you're taking 10 away. Then if you're going to the right, you're adding one. And if you're going left, you're taking one away.